Section thirty one point four, translational partition function. For quantum translation in a one dimensional box with a lens of A, the translational energy is quantized. The translational energy must be n squared h squared over eight m a squared. N is a positive integer. H is the Planck constant. M is the mass of the particle, and A is the dimension of the box. N can be one, two, three, four, etc. The one-dimensional translational partition function is the sum of e to the power of negative translational energy over k p t. And over here, I'm making some approximation here. I'm adding one term, n equals zero term over here. This is because when n is zero, this exponential function is one, and this sum, or this sum, is much much greater than one. That's why we can make this approximation. And then this is a discrete sum. I'm gonna make another approximation. I'm gonna say this sum is approximately the integral of this exponential function. And then we can evaluate this integral because this function is actually a Gaussian function of n. This is an even function of n. Therefore, we can say this integral from zero to infinity is one half of the same integral from negative infinity to positive infinity. This is because the integral from negative infinity to zero is equal to the integral. From zero to infinity, and then we can set alpha or any other dummy variable to be h squared over eight m a squared k b t. So really, over here, h squared over eight m a squared k b t is going to be alpha, and then this integral is one half times the integral of e to the power of negative alpha n squared d n. From negative infinity to positive infinity, and then we're going to do one more variable substitution. We're going to multiply this n by the square root of alpha, and then we have to divide the square root of alpha here, and then we set z to be the square root of alpha times n. Now we have this one-dimensional translational partition function. Is equal to one over two times the square root of alpha times the integral of a simple Gaussian function. The value of this function is square root of pi. Therefore, this one-dimensional translational partition function is square root of pi over two times the square root of alpha. And alpha is this. So we plug in the expression of alpha here. This is alpha, and then we know the one-dimensional translational partition function is equal to the square root of two pi m k b t a squared over h squared, and we can take this a over h out of the square root. So over here we have square root of a squared over h squared. So it's It becomes a over h. For quantum rotation, I'm sorry. For quantum translation, in a three-dimensional box with side length of a, b, and c, we have this three-dimensional translational partition function equal to the partition functions in this three dimensions. X, Y, Z directions, with a side length of a, b, and c. We can combine the two pi m k b d term, and we get this three-dimensional translational partition function. Two pi m k b t to the power of three halves times a b c over h to the power of three. 
and A times B times C is simply the volume of this three-dimensional box. And over here, you are looking at the three-dimensional translational partition function.